All right, so this one is also another quadratic formula question. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. A equals 1, B equals 6, C equals 7. So X equals the opposite of B plus or minus radical B squared, so 6 squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So you can copy it like that or you can do the trick that I showed you before. We just type in the actual formula. X equals the opposite of B plus, we're not going to put the plus or minus, just the plus radical. Then we've got B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Just hit enter, don't worry about the triangle. We're going to copy that formula and paste it underneath. But the underneath one, we're going to take out the plus sign and make it a minus. That covers our plus or minus. Then we just follow A. Here's the letter A. I'm going to put A in parentheses. A becomes 1. Take this A out, put it in parentheses. That becomes 1. Take this A out, put it in parentheses. Put it in parentheses. Now we've got the B. B is 6. So I'm going to still put it the six, positive six in parentheses. We still want to do that. Okay, take out the B, put the six in parentheses. Go down to this one. I'm hitting the zero a lot today. Okay, and then now our C term is seven. So we're going to delete this. Put in 7 for C, again making sure it's in parentheses. And then we get those numbers. All right, so those are the correct answers. Now we're going to find the equivalent. So I'm going to type in letter A, negative 3 plus the square root of 2. That matches the first one. So now we're going to do negative 3 minus the square root of 2. That matches the second one, so it's letter A. Now, let me show you when it doesn't match, all right? Because the first two from both sides, it matched perfect. If I do negative 6 plus the square root of 2, notice how I get negative 4.5, and I would need it to get either negative 1.5 or negative 4.4. So because this doesn't match, that's why it's not letter B, okay? Um, if I had put in the negative 3 plus the th 2 square roots of 2, it doesn't match the decimals. So we needed to match these two decimals because those are the decimals that match the quadratic formula. That's how you use the math tools to move forward. Bye.